Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how these devices can help you save time, money, and help you upgrade your analog camera system to an IP camera system without going through the trouble of replacing thousands and thousands of feet of coaxial line that you already have at your installation. Let's get started. First, let's talk about analog camera systems. What are they? These systems use RG59 cables, commonly called coax cables, or sometimes Siamese cables. And these coaxial lines are used to transmit the video signals for common security cameras. This technology has been around for ages. And so we also call this an analog system because this is not a digital signal. This is analog, this is hardwired from camera to recorder. There have been a lot of advancements in analog camera systems, but the latest features, technology, and highest quality come from IP camera systems over ethernet. So why upgrade from analog cameras to IP cameras? IP cameras or internet protocol cameras offer features like remote access, onboard storage, facial tracking, license plate tracking, and more. And traditionally they use ethernet cables for power and data. For analog camera systems, this is where the term Siamese cable comes from. Because if you take a look at common cables, there is one line for the data and video signal transmission and another line for power. So there are two separate lines that are manufactured together. And so this is where ethernet over coax comes in or EOC for short. EOC technology allows us to send a digital signal over that coaxial line that's originally designed for an analog signal. So these two devices encode and decode the digital signal over that coaxial line. This advancement in the technology is incredible because again, it can save you thousands of dollars on installation of new lines, the effort and time it takes to maybe dig the lines out of a very difficult location and many more features. A transmitter and receiver setup over a 1000 foot RG59 cable. The receiver is connected to a standard PoE switch uh, and the PoE power supply is happening over the 1000 foot cable and um, uh, the PoE power supply is being received on the transmitter side and transmitted to a uh, PTC camera which is being powered on over the PoE port. And as you can see, there's no additional power supply being uh, um, uh, inputted into the camera. The camera is being powered on just over PoE. Uh, we can have PoE transmission up to uh, 3,000 feet or 1,000 meters. Uh, using the transmitter, we can do plug and play, configuration free. And uh, the small size allows us to fit the transmitter into any camera back box or a junction box. And uh, uh, according to our tests, the pair works perfectly with any IP camera or uh, a PTZ camera. Uh, and uh, as you can see, using this uh, system, we can also uh, utilize the same system for a VoIP for, our, uh, for your existing VoIP phones. 